So I was there having brunch with my son and daughter, and um, uh, these two mopeds with uh, a, a rider and a pillion uh, roared up uh, and pulled up outside, immediately outside where we're sitting. They eyeballed us. Um, they made it clear that they were going to go for the bikes. One of them got off with an angle grinder um, uh, and set about my daughter's bike, which was locked to mine. And then uh, my son, who's always up for it, um, headed out of the cafe door. I followed him thinking, oh, blimey, I better join in. Um, and before I knew where I was, I was actually standing by the bike group to which my bike was locked um, as uh, this uh, miscreant was having a go with an angle grinder, first of all, um, at my, uh, my lock and secondly, at my face. So in no way was that <laughs> low-key um, uh, uh, event. I mean, you don't see it all, all there. No, um, I was, I, that I was, was that was right at the very end. Okay, I, I will definitely retract low key, but the film that we've got here, all, yes, it, it, as you say, it's at the, at the very end. It almost looked like they were open to persuasion, but it clearly sounds like a very potentially very violent incident. Yeah, it was. It was nasty. Is it that there's a general rule of life, Ben, which I, I've followed so far, which is you never try and have a fight with somebody with an angle grinder. Can you tell me why you decide that that's not a rule for you? Well, um, funnily enough, my, my daughter um, uh, had previously uh, described to me an incident in a, a nearby street in Hackney um, where um, a, a rider was uh, stopped on their Brompton um, whilst um, a, a moped rider tried to knock her off and um, disappear with it. Uh, my daughter said that, you know, what happened was uh, there was a lot of commotion, a lot of shouting, um, and a lot of people uh, gathered around and started taking pictures. So uh, as I moved into this following uh, my son, Albie, um, I thought, well, that's the thing to do. So I, I went in um, with a you know, proper Logan Roy um, uh, display <laughs> of bad language and <laughs> shouting and bawling yeah. and, and uh, photographing with my, uh, with my iPhone uh, because I thought, well, in, in due course, they're going to con decide this is all too much like hard work and, and disappear. So it actually went on for you know slightly under ten minutes. It was wow. quite a quite a performance because wow. they had to cut through my daughter's D lock before they got to my bike, um, you know. And we were not making life easy for them. One of them had said to my son Albie, the the, the moped on the left in that view you saw, um, right, I'm going to run him over. Um, at which point Albie, um, you know, tackled um, the, the rider um, and, um, uh, and there's a short uh, bout of fisticuffs um, while they, where they sort that one out. Um, so, no, it was, it was all pretty heavy um, and uh, it was, I think, me encouraged by my, my daughter's um, story of, of um, uh, somebody who, who got away without their bike being stolen just by making a huge fuss. We made a huge fuss. Yeah. Well, thank you. And, and obviously, as you, by your telling of it, they had got through both locks, had they? And then they, at some point, thought, this is too much trouble. Were you actually physically attaching yourself to your bike? Is that, is that why they decided they couldn't go ahead with it? Yeah. I, as you can see in that video, at that point, I'm holding onto my bike. And the guy with the, um, the, the, guy with the you, can't, you can't see, that's him popping up there. Um, the, the guy with the angle grinder tries to pull it away and I pull it back and you can see him falling back and, mm. and, and uh, the, he then gets onto the moped which um, uh, is driving around. Thank you. Well, thank you very much indeed and congratulations on a successful operation, Ben, and I'm glad you kept your bikes. Ben Derbyshire, architect and uh, yeah, having a go.